Hey guys, welcome to another review. So it has been uh, another week. Another week has come and gone. I hope you've all had a good one. Uh, first off today, I should be reviewing um, something I've just recently picked up at a very, very good price, thanks to Sainsbury's, which is the two-pack of Yoda and Clone Trooper Jack. I'm once going to have the package into hand, which is great. <laughs> There it is. I won't read to you from the back because you know it bores me. Uh, that. I picked this up for a, a nice little three pounds from Sainsbury's. Mmm. They were like 19 quid. And I was like, nah. 15 quid? Nah. <laughs> then they went like five quid? Nah. Three pound 25. Go on then. So that's quite cool. Uh, first off, I'll show you the code trooper. Because obviously they're my favourite people out of the lines. Clone comes with uh, two of these little blaster pistols. Ta -da! And um, a nice little holster thing, but I'm not sure what's meant to go on it. It's a random holster on it. Well, it's not a holster, it's like a fake nose. <laughs> Nobody knows. Shut up. So, let's go through my new phase of saying things. He's ball jointed here, 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 swivel here. Ball jointed here and ball jointed here. <laughs> he also comes with a removable helmet. And as you can see underneath, he's completely bald. He's shaven to perfection. <laughs> I don't think he's got any moustache. No. no goatee or moustache or anything. He's just got brown eyebrows. No wonder he shaves his hair off, because his hair's going to grow back brown and he's going to look right dodgy. Uh, as you probably noticed, there's holsters. You can use to remove the guns and put them back in. He also comes with, I can't remember if he comes with both or just one. No, he comes with both. He comes with one of these crappy bazookas, which is completely oversized and doesn't really make any sense, but I suppose for a play feature it's cool. And then he comes with one that I was actually really impressed with, except for Hasbro's bent it out of place, which is a normal sized one, which I thought was really cool. And it comes with a strap as well, so you can have it over the top of him and all that. But what just really bugged me is they've packed it, and as you can see, that's not straight at all. <laughs> they've packed it so it got bent, and I'm still in the process of bending it back. I'm thinking about sticking a bit of heat on it, it should have melted plastic. But, you know, it's cool that they've added one of those. I wish they'd add more of those and less of these bloody things, because I've got loads of these and I absolutely hate them. Because they take up all my box space. Um, so that's him. I'll just uh, show you him with his thing on, if I can get it on. Oh, I'll put it on the wrong way. Get on there. Get on there, boy. Okay, well, the, the bazooka doesn't actually look that great on his back. That, and also I couldn't get it properly over his neck. But, you know, the thought's there, the thought's there. Uh, alongside Jack is a... a a figure I never thought I'd buy because I couldn't stand the look of it. It looked like a Happy Meal toy. But I'm actually really impressed with it in the end, and that was kind of annoying. And that's uh, Master Yoda. Who, I must admit, is incredibly good in articulation. I'm actually really shocked. He's got a ball joint here, ball joint in the top of his arms, ball joint in the elbow, swivel wrists, uh, ball joint in the torso, but it looks alright, swivel legs and ball hinged ankles. How cool is that? I wish they'd do that with a proper one. Like, you know, the ones from the films, because that would be so awesome. But unfortunately they haven't yet. They keep on bringing out the one from episode three. So if you're looking at that Yoda, just go to a car boot sale, because you'll find it, because that's from episode three, the skanky git. Now, let's know what you're doing, Hasbro, you tight ass buggers. Uh, it comes with a lightsaber. Which is beautifully detailed. I don't know how well this picked up, but it is rather nicely detailed. It's not made of that metal crap like the other one that I've got. So that fits nicely in his hand. And you can pose him in all sorts of weird and wonderful ways because he's got great articulation on him now. So yeah, that's the two figures. Clone Trooper Jack and uh, Master Yoda. Uh, a little bit of info for you, if you're in the UK, you can get both of these, not in that pack, because that's exclusive to Sainsbury's if I remember rightly, but these two separately, 
uh, because they are three ninety nine at uh, Toys R Us, uh, half price. So you can get both of these, but I think they're going quite quickly, so I think you want to get your ass down there fairly soonish. Because at the moment, all I can see is AR Le Secura and uh, what else was there? Padme. That's basically all that's left of mine. But yes, definitely get your way down there if you can. Have a look for these two because I strongly recommend them, especially him, which is really annoying. Uh, but Clone Trooper Jack is very good if you've got uh, Commander Thyre. Is it Commander Buff Thyre or Lieutenant Thyre? Doesn't say. Oh wait, Lieutenant Thyre. Sorry, my bad. I'm not very good with this war linger. <laughs> there he is. There he is. I hope you enjoyed that review, guys. They are very awesome. And I was... Ooh! <laughs> Check this out, right? You know you get battle packs. Well, the little... Guns and shiz, the secret weapons, yeah. <laughs> That's a whole bag of secret weapons. How many more secret weapons do I need? I've got pretty much about eight of everything, I should say. It's a big bag of bits. <laughs> so, yes, I hope you enjoyed that review, guys, and I shall see you all next week. <laughs>